Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today, the battle shifts to Boonesboro, located in Washington County, Maryland. The Battle of Boonesboro and Funktown was really a series of engagements with Jeb Stuart and his Confederate cavalry against various Union forces that lasted between July 6th to the 16th, 1863. Since the Battle of Gettysburg, Lee's Confederate forces continued to fall back from the Union attack, finding themselves stuck near the Potomac River. Looking for a way out, Lee continued to direct Jeb Stuart and his cavalry to provide screening for the infantry and to prevent the Union from crashing into the Confederate troops while they were pinned against the river. Seeking the enemy and traveling along Beaver Creek, Confederate General Jeb Stuart's cavalry continued to follow these orders by trying to protect the entrenched infantry positions along a nine-mile ridge between Hagerstown, Downsville, and this also included Boonesboro and Funkstown. Desperately trapped and feeling the pain of losing a bridge at Falling Waters on July 4th to the Union, the Confederates had erected a pontoon bridge three miles away from Williamsport as a way to cross the river and pull their troops to safety. On July 13th, while the Potomac River was at a low point, Confederate General Ewell's Corps used a low point to cross at Williamsport Ford. At the same time, Confederate Generals Longstreet and A.P. Hill used makeshift pontoon bridge to cross themselves, all escaping Union forces that were building yet again. The last to cross was Confederate General Jeb Stuart's cavalry being the rear guard, by following Ewell's troops across the low water point. The Confederate defenders of the pontoon bridge were Confederate General Heth's division, with the last Confederate unit to cross being the 26th North Carolina. They were attacked by Union General Kilpatrick's division on July 14th. The fighting was short and brutal, and the end result was the Union troops taking more than 700 Confederate prisoners. Final casualties were lopsided, with the Union suffering approximately 158 killed, wounded, missing, and captured. The Confederates were much worse, with at least 920 killed, wounded, missing, and this included at least more than 700 captured Confederate troops. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.